So it was a long night of driving. Like, come in here. What do we got? Oh, he's already ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. He's ready. Giddy up. <laughs> Giddy up. Austin, Austin, here we come, baby. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe. Uh, there we go. See? There we go. However, to be truly NASCAR. <laughs> Let's go to the track. <laughs> what do you think, bro? That's my fault. <laughs> but now you drive for RCR, so now I gotta let the guy. Yeah. I'll be glad to buy you a shirt. <laughs> okay. I'll take that one. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm talking about, you guys, this is the fireman right here. Did they make like that? They play the fireman anyway? Yeah. That's gonna be your deal, is that all right? So we're going we drive from Charlotte to pretty much any roads that were smooth. Me and Daryl here took on last night. We, we switch over like what, a couple hours ago and and these guys take us on some kind of gravel road adventure gravel we were out in the cornfields we were out in the cornfields <laughs> bouncing around i don't know what's up and what's down but <laughs> hey guys if y'all happen to see a road around here we point us in the right direction you guys i-20 come on it's perfect come on <laughs> Perfect. I'm losing my voice over I-20 here. You gotta put more air in your mattress. <laughs> Listen, we, we've done our laminate. It's about time to switch out. Uh, Daryl's gonna drink his chocolate milk. We're no wrong. Ah, coming in hot now. You guys, we had someone suggest in the comments of the last NASCAR video that we maybe should name Chris the Carolina Reaper because he burns up the asphalt. <laughs> kind of, you know. We it's, gotta get there. We'll get there. We miss all the excitement if we don't. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we do like to get where we're going. Come on, Austin, Texas, let us in. We're here for the entertainment now. Oh yeah, here's our window. Yeah, Here's our window, baby. Look at him ripping through them gears. Ho, baby, ho, baby, ho. That's what I'm talking about. No grinding yet. No, sir. Not a jerking. <laughs> <laughs> race fans and welcome to the circuit of the americas got to work on that you guys we made it we're in austin texas right here at the racetrack it's kind of out in the country pretty cool if you're familiar with austin you already know if you're unfamiliar with austin we're kind of out by the airport we got the racetrack it's here for a good time so we made it in and i want to just kind of give you a brief rundown of i think the direction we're going to go with this episode so the last time uh, that we did NASCAR on the channel, by the way, welcome. <laughs> it's a late intro, but here we are. Last time we did NASCAR, we shot from Phoenix, Arizona. And kind of, you know, it was my first time in, wasn't really sure exactly what to expect, what it would be like, the sights we were gonna see. 
you know, my eyes were pretty wide. So I just kind of filmed a little bit of everything. Didn't necessarily take a certain flow with it. And I'll still get some race footage to throw in uh, to this episode as well. But I want to kind of focus this, since it's early in the season, I want to focus this episode on showing you a little more specifically some of the truck driver duties and how truck driving and drivers of the trucks are pretty integral to how this whole giant, you know, show on wheels lumbers across the country, okay? I mean, you obviously know the driving part. You're very familiar with me and truck driving, right? The driving part, ironically, it's ironic because you're the driver, but I would guess that maybe venture to say the driving part of the job, at least for Chris, me being a backup driver, I'm not expected to do any to do any of these things really, but I'm here to help obviously because I like to be helpful. Chris has so many duties. The the main drivers, the way that these trucks are, are broke down, you have the the main driver and then the co-driver. The main drivers cover all the short races, okay? All the stuff that is within 11 hours of home. And 11 hours reaches out quite a bit. They use co-drivers anytime that they are doing something that is beyond that 11 hour reach. Going to Arizona, going to California, Portland, um, Las Vegas, we're going uh, to Wisconsin. Um, some of these tracks that are just, just beyond and out of reach. They want two drivers to keep the wheels rolling, right? But when we get here, that's where the work really begins. I wanna bring you along and let you see from, from getting the trailer set up, getting the cars unloaded. Also gonna bring you a little special treat because Chris, the Carolina, he's gonna have a lot of names. The Carolina, insert your chosen, uh, your chosen nickname for him. <laughs> see, there he is. Um, special treat, he's got, he's got something cooking. He's got something in mind that he wants to prepare uh, for a meal for tomorrow. And we're going to bring you on that. We're going to be doing cooking with Chris. It's going to be sweet. All right. So for now we're here. I think that uh, Hollywood went to go grab the rental van so that we have wheels to get to the hotel. Uh, been on the road. I, I mentioned a little bit earlier in the episode that me and fireman, little Daryl, were pretty tired. We drove the night shift last night, the bulk of the night shift anyway, and we went back to sleep at like four in the morning and that I-20, you guys, it's ridiculous. I mean, didn't sleep a wink. Just You just lay back there and bounce around to the point where like your you're like your insides hurt from just bouncing around. It's, uh, it's crazy, but uh, I think the guys are about ready to go. They got the bags. Hollywood will have the van here momentarily and uh, Let's have a good time, huh? Anything else we need? Huh. What are we missing? Well, there don't be no peppers. Ooh. It might have been Poopy, the mechanic, that took our fuel. He might have taken the jalapenos. He might have We had a brief scare, you guys. Chris thought that the jalapenos, right? Jalapenos. Wait, what do you, you call them? Pinos? Jalapeno. You call them pinos or peños? <laughs> jalapenos. Pinos. Pinos. Okay, that's all right. That's southern. Peño. 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 Tomato. Tomato. Yes. We've got a little trick that we we're going to pull on Hollywood. We're gonna, we'll clue you guys in on it tomorrow. I thought I lost them or actually forgot them, so I was going to go to the store and get some more because we got to get Mark, a.k.a. Hollywood, tomorrow morning for lunch. We're going to get them good, you guys. Daryl is going to be looking for his wallet. Oh. Check back in. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle's got two trucks, Early's got one. Yes. Tell them to wash it this time. <laughs> well, they got three trucks here. Oh, they They're getting the crew in. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to wash it this time. Finish everything off first. 
What do you mean? What's everything? We got like nine cup trucks. Okay. What time? Ah, uh, forget the cup, guys. Huh? What time? We park five. Yeah. You gonna get them done by then? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, uh, <laughs> not through. We probably won't get them by the time y'all get back, but we will get them before y'all park in the morning. We park it. Seven thirty. Seven o'clock yeah, roll call. Yeah, I know. Okay. Travel week. Well, we to well to just the did. fact that Adam smoked Jeff's the main thing. He did smoke Jeff pretty good. Yeah. He smoked him strong. I'm beside in the road and down the trucks. Look, there's Adam. Adam made it up here pretty far. So I got out and asked him, he said it was a six Xfinity hauler. Okay. We don't like it, wouldn't be too bad. Anybody need anything? Yeah, move quick. Uh, we had a group of, uh, we had a group of about 12 people waiting on a big table. You good? I'm going to leave it running or I need cut it off. He don't even know. He don't know. He got his own wallet over there. Lotto ticket. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I've never had to take my wallet out of my pocket. What did you want it look like? Me neither. Like? What did you want it look like? Me neither. I don't never take mine. I just want to keep my black one like that. <laughs> don't you reckon that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like fishing stuff out. He's like, is it it? Do you need more money? Do you need this credit card? How about this driver's license? Here, here buy your lotto ticket. Here's $50. I thought for sure I'd start pulling your 50s out. He'd be like, hey, wait a minute. Like, here, buy, buy you the lotto ticket. I got you. Hey, in our defense, me and Daryl, I-20 was that bad last night. Yeah, no bounce sleep. his wallet. Plumb into my pocket. <laughs>
Well, <laughs> it's early. <laughs> I can tell you that. All right, y'all. Good morning. Not gonna be very quality video, obviously, because it's still dark. Under the glow of the street light. Oh man, we're back at the racetrack. Back at the track. So it is Friday morning. This would be the day before the race. And I'll give you kind of a quick rundown of what you're gonna see going on today. In general, just so you can uh, kind of know what you're looking at as we go along. <clears throat> They, uh, when you show up to the racetrack, you have to stage all the trucks outside of the track. And this is every week at every racetrack. So all the trucks are lined up uh, here at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin. We park, there's a big four lane race road kind of that runs along the front of the racetrack. And that's where they've staged all the trucks. You can kind of see there's the curb. Here's a couple of our trucks. Um, you won't be able to tell, but going down the line, there's there's more trucks down that way, and then there's more trucks the opposite direction. So they stage here, and then they have a set time, the race officials have a set time where they, essentially all the trucks get on the CB, and they call you in one at a time to come in and line your truck up and get parked uh, at your position, which will become our garage once we get inside. Um, some racetracks have a separate garage for the an actual garage for the cup teams to use. They have like a an awning or a covering for the Xfinity uh, and the truck teams to use. But here at Austin, I believe they only have a garage for the cup teams, which is the same garage that you see. This is a actually like a Formula One racetrack, so it's the same garage that those guys use. If you watch Drive to Survive, uh, that that Netflix series on Formula One, we're at that Austin track. So if you want to put a little, put a little uh, face to what you're, what you're seeing. But anyway, uh, our haulers today actually will become our garages. So the tailgates will lift up high in the air and that'll provide the, uh, the cover for the car. And uh, I'm kind of, kind of roughing it out here, Texas style, come on. <laughs> anyway, so they're gonna call us in. Uh, we'll, we'll pull the trucks in one at a time. We'll get staged, we'll get set up. Uh, they're doing that at 7.30 a.m., which is really early, considering that they're not opening the garage, which is the next term. Uh, the rest of the race team's not allowed in. The mechanics, crew chief, um, you know, whatnot. They're not allowed in until, I think they said noon today. Uh, guys are telling me, Chris is saying that it takes about an hour to get everything unloaded and set up. So <laughs> there's a good chance we'll be set up by 9 o'clock, and then we'll have to sit here for three hours waiting uh till they open the track for the rest of the crew um real quick some of you guys have asked if i'm just a nascar guest or if i'm actually a card carrying member and here you go <laughs> oh they got me even got the special one with the monogram <laughs> that allows the truckers in a little early on race day anyway so uh we're gonna get the we're gonna get the truck moved in we're gonna get set up. We'll get the, all the carts unloaded, the generator, the tools. Um, we'll get the race car down and off so that it's ready so that at noon, when everybody else shows up, all their stuff's here and it's ready to roll.
The NASCAR guys, they all run the uh, CBs. Mandatory equipment out here. Man, are you up here
Oh, so this parking, it's quite a deal, y'all. Um, it's tight. It's tight. It is tight. That's the side door down there. So that's our problem for, for our little stall. They didn't give us enough room to they guide you in and make the call. And... Anyway, we'll get her figured out. But uh, I'm going to show you one thing that doesn't change around here is that truckers, truckers love to hang. Truckers love to just shit the chat. No matter if they're NASCAR haulers, no matter if you're in the truck stop parking lot. Shit in the chat. Atta boys. Bull crap. What are you mad about, Razorback? What's going on? NASCAR at its finest. Yeah. They're putting it to us again. Yeah. Just like two hogs trying to make piglets. <laughs> No, go, go, go! He said he wants to go! We're making content, my man. He said he wants to ride. Hang on, wait. Stay right there. No, 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 no. Look, you grab hold of him. Man, here, boy. Listen, stand, stand there. Stand there. Just relax. Just relax. He said if he was a real truck driver. I don't want to pick you up. Well, uh, more or less, we're just out of luck, I guess. They're, uh, I don't know. It's it's a little more official than you would think, as far as you know. It's like, oh, just just wiggle out, back up, move over. Once you're parked, you're parked. I mean, that's why they have officials, two officials parking you. Uh, they're official officials, NASCAR officials, and they put you where they put you, and that's kind of that. Um, if you move and wiggle and waggle, you're, I don't know, I don't know what might happen, <laughs> but anyway, it's frowned upon. Do we ever do things that are frowned upon? Never. Anyway, they're, uh, the end of the parking lot is coming up. Check out this old boy. Oh yeah. The, uh, the end of the parking lot is coming up, and I'll show you as soon as this truck gets by, there's a lot of trucks to park yet. We've got this this row, well you saw when we came in. We came in, we made a loop around. So that row goes all the way back, wraps around, and then comes up the ramp here, up, 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 and back out the front, and there's still trucks coming in around the corner. So. I see why they're being so tight on the parking. However, you know, I don't know, an inch. I can see now why Taylor says that measurements and things can always be a battle. <laughs> because you save an inch between each truck or two, how much room is it gonna save in the end? Well, you can kinda of do the math. Not as much as you might think or they might hope, but. Anyway, we're just gonna have to watch our doors. What's gonna happen is somebody's gonna come winging in and swing that door, and it's gonna put a big old, a big old scrape in the trailer. But hopefully not. We'll see. Uh, it's caused a lot of drama, which is funny because truck drivers are kind of dramatic. But it's because we care about our equipment. I mean, 
these are our rides for the entire season and you know six races in or whatever to put a nice big old scar across your uh your race trailer i can see why uh you know guys are a little worried about it so hey look there's me there's me filming me well, told me yesterday, he said, as soon as you get here, I'll wash y'all. We told me. I left here last night at 8 o'clock and still wasn't washed. He come up to me and said, dog. <laughs> you don't, do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> hey, he's being a real good sport, you, you guys. Nobody in see Montana that? is going to understand what he's saying anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> he's not he like got, he me got last... marbles when he talks. <laughs> he come up to me last week and he said, look, he says, under pressure is not there. I'll wash y'all next week. Chris is hot. Hot. Gotta just cool him down a little bit. Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> said, <laughs> it's quick. Alright y'all, the great unload has begun. Unload, unload, unload. Oh man, look at Chris, he's a beast. Going down. Look at this timing, look at that impeccable timing. Man, man knows his equipment. Then we'll go back up. That's the heavy cart back there y'all. That baby's 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds of fury. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Boys, you're looking good. Man. Nobody got a better behind than a trucker seat because we spent a lot of time sitting on them. So they're uh, wide glides. They're wide glides, baby. <laughs> Me and Razorback, we don't uh, we don't fly so well, so we're we're the ground crew for this car. We'll stay. We're low. we're holding the ground down. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Whew. We got rain coming, you guys, back behind us. Can't see it now because we're low, but there's a there's a wall coming, which is why we got to get the cars covered, toolboxes covered, all that stuff. I think we're gonna get about a waiting for like an hour or so. Probably gonna get rain down here until the crews come in. They'll miss all the work and they'll still be dry. <laughs> right.
So you're no you're no stranger to the cab over life. Oh, cab over! Everybody should drive one. <laughs> right? You kind of need to to appreciate what you have nowadays, right? Yeah, especially when you go to jack the cab up, and you forget to move the stuff, and your bunk oh. over behind the seats, and everything goes up. everything on the floorboards. Everything comes to the pedals, and in the bunk, it all oh, comes yeah. to the dashboard. Back in the days when you were drinking Pepsi or Coke, you know all the stuff that <laughs> splash against you. you spend three <laughs> yeah, hours yeah. cleaning it up. <laughs> <laughs> Freight liner, you can lay on the doghouse. I'm gonna sleep just as good as you can in the bunk. Right? And the seats just line up. Just... Yeah. Look like it's back to cover here for now. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Woo. Man, I could shave in that mirror. You know, probably not. Probably not. You want to do it before now? So that's it then, Christo. That's it, buddy, except for uh, the little fine details. Um, setting up the inside of the hauler. Got to get that. Cleaned out okay. For the little road rats. But equipment's out and we're good, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Here would be the hardware that we use on the floor. The floor has predetermined uh, holes drilled in it and with uh, with threads tapped in in certain instances we use these chocks everything goes in this would be the number one chalk that goes in first second chalk third chalk fourth chalk according to the different tool carts that we lay out see so before we load anything that chalk goes in that stops the first cart from rolling through the front of the truck and then we put that card in and then this would be one that kind of serves as a double kind of a it chocks the back wheels of the first cart and also provides a, a bump stop for the second cart that's going to go in does that make sense you'll see that when we load up <coughs> excuse me but uh she's uh she's getting there room five thousand and a half oh baby Oh, you did! <laughs> oh! Look how we neck that thing down for a little more velocity. Woo! Oh, man. Start the back, work her to the front. I tell you guys, I'm here to do whatever, any and everything. you have a look it is the cup crews they've arrived they have opened the garage at 10 30 a.m here at cota circuit of the americas on race day do you think that my english accent is getting a little bit better i've been watching a lot of formula one commentary trying to hone in and get a little bit better if I can. <laughs> there are some more. I will tell you this. It is very hard for me as a man trying to maintain an English accent from the land of my forefathers from morphing into what's more of like a we're going down under the hunt dingoes, mate. I have a hard time keeping them, keeping them separate. Oh, look there, crikey. There's your one mean alligator walking along. He's out there and you never know when one's gonna come out of the water and bite you. <laughs> I'm in here charging up my batteries, by the way, if you're wondering. It's a little hot though, I'm starting to sweat. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> okay. Okay, back to the show.